Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to explain how do you set up ingress in your Kubernetes cluster using AWS application load balancer. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and like my video because it motivates me to make more such videos. So the very first step is to create the cluster. So for creating of the cluster, I have a make file. So this make file has the EKS cuttle commands, which is EKS cuttle create cluster minus F and this is the cluster file. So the cluster file is quite simple. I have uh, this is the cluster config and the name of the cluster is Robin personal cluster and it's in US East to region. It has two node groups which is of a type EC2 instance. So I'll run make create cluster. So this is going to run and create a cluster. So it would take around 10 minutes. Uh, for our cluster to be ready until our cluster is coming up let's look at the steps that are involved on a high level so the steps that are involved on uh, setting up application load balancer ingresses first is we create the cluster and then we create a service account and an im provider so this links im roles to the service account so we need to enable that provider next is we create a cluster role which will be accessed by a service account and uh, then we create the IAM policy and service account and then we have to deploy a AWS ALB ingress controller uh, which will listen on to the ingress configuration and will enable AWS load balancer corresponding to it and then ultimately we'll deploy our test application where we'll see the ALB ingress let's quickly revise some of the basics of ingress and look at our demo application so ingress basics are suppose we have uh, an application which is consists of three pods here and now when we want traffic to come to it we could configure a cluster ip service now we want external traffic to come to it we would have a node port type of a service which exposes a node port uh, and then using route 53 we can map like foo.jomo.click to uh, the load balancer which could be a node port service and then the application and then the traffic would be routed to the multiple pods uh, and you could do the same for if you have another application with multiple pods right you could set up a load balancer using the node port service and you can do like bar.jomo.click you could add that configuration in route 53 and route the traffic but we want all of this to be handled within the cluster itself and that's where uh, ingress comes into picture so we so what we do is uh, in route 53 we'll configure that all the traffic needs to go to the application load balancer and from application load balancer it's going to the go to the ingress service which will then forward the traffic to foo.jomo.click depending upon the url like or the host or bar.jomo.click depending upon the host right so and this is all like all of these configurations is basically handled or like added in an ingress.yaml file it could be any file name so that ingress configuration is listened to by ingress controller and that's what we'll deploy so we'll deploy a aws ingress controller which would then process all of this configuration and it would then by itself create an application load balancer and configure all of these listeners and all which will route the traffic to these various pods depending upon the the host and this is exactly what our application would be so we'll have a two set of applications. One would be served by foo.jomo.click and other application that would be served by bar.jomo.click. So let's look at the application code that will deploy. It's a very simple node server. So it runs on port 3000 and it sees when the app URL is slash node app, it's going to return like the response. Uh, so it's going to say, the process like uh, so it says hello world from the host name which is the host name of the pod and from the app so the app is configured based on the environment variable which is app name and uh, if the url is not node app we return unknown path but we return status as 200 so for de deploying this app we can create two, two set of deployments like the first deployment is for the foo app and um, here we pass the app name as foo because that app name would be used to serve the response. This is where it will reply that it response is coming from the foo app. And the bar is somewhat similar. Like we have the similar configuration. We use the same image, but the app name here is bar, right? So when the request would go to the foo, we'll come to know that the response is coming from, from the foo app, 
but the request when it goes to the bar will come to know that the response is coming for, from the bar app. So this app is then uh, connected by the service and the service is often type node port. So the traffic to this node port service would be routed by our ingress. So this is the ingress configuration. So we add few annotations which would be, which would be listened by AWS ingress controller. So we say that the ingress class is application load balancer ALB and the scheme is internet facing because we want it to be internet facing scheme. So here the target type for us since I'm setting up using like uh, the nodes which I have set up for Kubernetes are EC2 instances. So for that's why I'll use in instance but you could use IP mode also if you are using target type of uh, nodes. So here we have like uh, the host if the traffic is coming from food.jomo.click we want it to go to foods app service right and the foo app service is here where we say like here is the foo app service and foo app service then selects the foo app so the traffic would be routed to the foo app and similarly if the host is bar.jomo.click we have the traffic going to bar.app.service and then the bar, uh, the bar app service then forwards the traffic to the bar app. So let's see if our uh, cluster is up. So the cluster is still building and let's wait for a few more minutes. By the way, if you're liking the video so far, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because it motivates me a lot. So our cluster is up now. Let's start the full process of setting up uh, the ingress. So first is enabling the service account and I am provider so all of this information is also available on this article so there is uh, there are a couple of articles that you need to refer to it so this is the first one this is the other one so this if you see the heading is AWS load balancer controller this explains everything which is needed to set up the controller that's the ingress controller that we were talking about and uh, this is the one which explains about the ingress so I would say I recommend like go through both of these in detail and these are the steps that will be following. So the first one is enabling of AWS plus IAM provider. And I have all of these commands written in the make file. So the first is enable uh, IAM provider, which is EKS utils, associate, associate IAM OIDC provider. So I'd say make, so this enables the provider. And next is we create the cluster role. So this will be used by the service account, which will create. And again, like all of this code would be there in the description below. So let's look at what is there in the role in which we created. So this is basically a cluster role. And then uh, if you see, we have a cluster role binding. So what it does is it says that all of these uh, API groups, these are the resources. It says that what are the verbs that are allowed. Right, so everything related to config maps, endpoints, ingress. So it's mostly related to ingress stuff and all. And uh, related to nodes and all, it's mostly get list and watch. Right, nodes, pods, secrets and all. And uh, the role binding, if you see, so the role binding is associated with uh, a service account which we'll add, which is AWS ALB ingress controller. So let's go ahead and after we have created, uh, we need to create the AWS IAM policy. Uh, so you can download the policy from this location again the, the all of these links and all and this code like all of these commands would be in the description below I already have this policy so this would fail but I just created it so it says like the policy already already exists entity already exists uh, so that policy provides access to the service account and let's create the service account so make service account so this is creating IAM service account and uh, our service account would be linked to the IAM role and that's why we had installed this associate IAM OIDC provider. So a few things to notice like whatever account you use make sure you replace this account and also the cluster name right. So these are the two things that you will need to replace. And the next thing we do is deploying of the cert manager. So if you are exposing HTTPS routes and all creating of the certificates for your HTTPS uh, traffic like all of those certification certificates are managed by the cert manager 
and basically it downloads this file which is from jetstack the cert manager and it installs it so we say deploy cert manager and after that we'll deploy the ingress controller i've already downloaded the configurations for ingress controller so this step which is on the second link which was for aws load balancer controller this explains the step how do you set up uh, the ingress controller so the configurations is are available here and that's what i have downloaded there are a couple of edits that you need to do because we already created the service account and they already mentioned very clearly here that you delete the service account on these lines which are already deleted in my cluster and then replace uh, this your cluster name which is on line 797 uh, and this what this is what exactly i have done so if you go to line number 797 so this is the cluster name and i've replaced it with my own cluster name right so let's deploy uh, this aws uh, load balancer controller this also contains uh, like the controller which listens on to the ingress resources and all so i say make deploy ingress controller And the next part that we have to do is deploying our application. So again, like the application, we I have declared a customized file, which is basically referring to all of these resources which we already saw, which are two applications, and then the ingress serving those. So let's say make deploy application, and you could just use kubectl instead of customize to make to keep things simple. So this is my web console. If I go to EC2 now, and uh, we see load balancer that's created. Let's click on the load balancer. And uh, it's in provisioning, so it's getting created now. So if you look at the listeners, so let's look at the roles for this. If we see roles, so, it's, so it has already picked up the roles. So the controller has picked up the roles, which is if the host is foo.jomo.click, it needs to route the traffic to uh, this listener if the this target group if the host is barred or click it needs the it needs to route the traffic to this target group if you look at this target group so it would be basically forwarding the traffic to both of those nodes wherever the wherever the pods are running and uh, the status you see it's right now initializing so we'll have to like maybe wait for a couple of minutes for the load balancer and the target groups and all and the listeners to be up. So other thing which is not handled by the load balancer controller is sending all the traffic to the application load balancer. So I'll create a new record on route 53 for that. So I say all the traffic which is star and I would declare the it to be alias. So if I say choose an endpoint, so it should be um, application load balancer, application and classic load balancers, right? And uh, it, this is US East 2. And then my load balancer would appear here. So I create here. And then like for to keep it, like I just uh, set the evaluate target health as false just so that I don't have to wait for the health in all to be okay and the traffic is routed right away but you can turn it on so that like the traffic just goes to the healthy uh, target groups and all so if you look at our application load balancer the application load balancer is up and now let's try to hit uh, the URL which was foo.jomo.click slash node app this is the URL which used to be served right it says hello world and then the counter from app foo and if we say bar and it says from app bar right so again like if i reload and all so it works fine so this is how easy it is to set up ingress controller using application load balancer and route traffic to your pods or to your application so again all the code that i've used would be in the description below and if you have any questions, if you're facing any issues, let me know in the comments below. And I hope I'll reply to your all, all your questions. And if you like this video, 
please hit the subscribe button and like my video because it motivates me to keep making more such videos.